4 over 3 plus the square root of 2. We want to simplify this by getting the radical 2 out from under the fraction. But you can't just multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 2 because if you do that, you're still left with this 3 that's in there. So what you use is called a conjugate. It's kind of like the difference of two squares. You know when you multiply uh, two quantities together and the middle terms cancel out and you have a perfect square on one end, perfect square on the other, like x squared minus 16. And if you factor that, it's x plus 4, x minus 4. There's no middle term because it's plus minus. That's what you're doing here. You're going to multiply 3 plus square root of 2 by 3 minus square root of 2. And what you do on the bottom, you do to the top. So now you have to actually multiply this out. And remember, this is like a difference of two squares when you get the result. You're going to have 3 times 3. And you're going to come up with 9. But you alternate signs, so there's no middle term. If you do 3 times negative square root of 2 and then square root of 2 times positive 3 they just cancel out. You're left with the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 which is going to be simply 2. But keep in mind this is a positive square root of 2 times a minus square root of 2. So it's going to be minus 2. And on the top you distribute the 4 through those two items. You'll have 12 minus 4 square root of 2. And now you can simplify on the bottom keeping the top the same. You'll have a 7. So 12 minus 4 square root of 2 over 7. This one is 8 over 5 plus 2 square root of 3. Again you have a radical term in the denominator. We have to multiply by the conjugate on the top and the bottom. So that would be 5 minus 2 square root of 3, top and bottom. And when we multiply this out, on the top, that's an easy one, that's 40, and then minus 16 square root of 3. On the bottom, when we multiply these two expressions together, we'll see if this yellow shows up. Eh, not really, not a good color to use. We'll use this any better? Yeah. So 5 times 5 is 25. But remember that this times this and then this times this just cancel out. That's why we're doing it this way. So the only other thing you have to worry about is multiplying 2 square root of 3 times a negative 2 square root of 3. That would give you a negative, which I should put in red, or a minus. 4, that comes from 2 times 2, and then square root of 3 times square root of 3 is simply 3. So simplify that bottom to come up with 25 minus 12, and then of course you'll have a 13 on the bottom. The top will stay the same. There's nothing more we can do to this. Nothing cancels out. Let's say we have 3 minus uh, square root of 5. And we wanted, and that was a denominator, and we wanted to get rid of the radical. We multiply it by 3 plus square root of 5. We'll multiply all this out. We'll go with 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times square root of 5 is 3 square root of 5. Minus square root of 5 times 3 is minus 3 square root of 5. And then minus square root of 5 times the positive square root of 5 is simply going to be minus 5. But notice that these cancel out, and that's why we do it this way. You're left with 9 minus 5, which is 4. This problem is 2 plus 4 square root of 2 over 3 plus 2 square root of 6. We want to get the radical 6 off the bottom. So that means we have to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate, which is 3 minus 2 square root of 6. 
on the top, you have to use the foil method. Now, the top isn't always going to cancel out. In fact, most of the time, it's not. So you're going to have a, a trinomial expression, so to speak, with three terms. So we'll just have to multiply it and come up with 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times minus 2 square root of 6 is minus 4 square root of 6. And then we have 4 square root of 2 times 3, which is 12 square root of 2. And then you'll have 4 square root of 2 times a minus 2 square root of 6, which will come out to be a minus 8 square root of 12. On the bottom, remember we're just multiplying this to get a 9, and then this times this would be minus 4 times 6. So clearly we have a lot of stuff we can clean up in here. <laughs> we'll do that on the next line. So we'll have 6 minus 4 square root of 6 plus 12 square root of 2, but over here this 8 square root of 12 can be simplified, and you can do that off to the right. We're going to simplify this. 8 square root of 12 is the same thing as 8 square root of 4 square root of 3. 8 times 2 is 16. So 16 square root of 3 is what that becomes. And then on the bottom, you have 9 minus 24. On the top, doesn't appear to be much we can do here. On the bottom, 9 minus 24 is a negative 15. We cannot have a negative number in the denominator by itself. So we're going to change the sign of everything and make it negative 6 plus 4 square root of 6 minus 12 square root of 2 plus 16 square root of 3 over 15. To simplify this, we're going to have to multiply the top and the bottom by 2 plus 3 square root of 6. When we do that, on the top, we're going to come out with 4 times 2, which is 8. 4 times 3 square root of 6, which is 12 square root of 6. 6 square root of 8 times 2 is 12 square root of 8. And then 6 square root of 8 times... 3 square root of 6 is plus 18 square root of 48. On the bottom, you're going to have 2 times 2, which is 4. And then this times this is going to give me minus 9 times 6. On the top, let's simplify where we can. 8 is okay, and so is the 12 square root of 6. But we have 12 square root of 8 that we need to take care of. We can do that off to the side. Up here, 12 square root of 8 is 12 square root of 4 square root of 2. Square root of 4 is 2. And multiply to get 24. So 24 square root of 2. And then we end up with 18 square root of 48 here and we can do that off to the side. 18 square root of 48, the 48 is going to break up as 16 and 3. Square root of 16 is 4, and 18 times 4 is 72. So 72 square root of 3. Okay, on the bottom, let's see what we end up with there. On the bottom, we will have 4 minus 54, which is a negative 50. We can't have that negative 50 on the bottom, so we're going to have to change the sign of everything to get negative 8 minus 12 square root of 6 minus 24 square root of 2 minus 72 square root of 3, and on the bottom you will have a 50. Simplify where you can so you can take out, it looks to be a 2 from all of these. That means this this, 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 and this. 
So you'll come out with a negative 4 minus 6 square root of 6 minus 12 square root of 2 minus 36 square root of 3. And on the bottom you'll have a 25. To simplify this you would have to multiply the top by 6 plus 8 square root of 12 and the bottom by 6 plus 8 square root of 12. Now on the top you're going to end up with 24 and then plus 32 times the square root of 12. From here to there will give me minus 12 square root of 2 and then the back ends will give me a minus 16 square root of 24. On the bottom 6 times 6 is 36 and then this times this will be minus 64 times 12. On the top 24 can stay but we have 32 square root of 12 and after you do these uh, simplifying problems enough times you really don't have to work them out again. 12 square, the square root of 12 simplifies to 2 square root of 3. So that 2 times the 32 would give me, and I've already written this down for some strange reason, so I'll just recopy this here, 24 and then plus. Once again, that is 2 square root of 3, so 2 times 32 is 64, and we'll just have a square root of 3. Minus, square root of, or minus 12 square root of 2 is okay, and then out here on the back end, the square root of 24 simplifies to 2 square root of 6. That 2 times 16 is minus 32, and you still have a square root of 6. On the bottom, 36 minus 64 times 12. 36 minus 64 times 12 is negative 732. Okay, it looks to me like we can take something out of each of these. What number comes out of 24, 64, 12, 32, and 732? All right, we'll try 4. If I take a 4 out of here, I would have a 6, and then plus 16 square root of 3, minus 3 square root of 2, minus 8 square root of 6, and then on the bottom, you'll have a 732 divided by 4, which is 183. And then lastly, you're going to have to change the sign of everything. So negative 6 minus 16 square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 2 plus 8 square root of 6 over 183.